Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, can I just disclaimer right now, can you just forgive my hair please? Because this frontal is really on its last legs and I just couldn't, like, I there was not an ounce of strength left in me to take this frontal off, re-glue it and so just take what, what I, I've given you, just please. This is another haul. I feel like if I didn't say it in my last haul, then I should have. You're probably going to get like two hauls a year from me because I don't shop. I buy stuff when I have somewhere to go. <laughs> and like, I don't know, I just, I don't shop. And I don't feel like my sense of style is particularly noteworthy. Um, but obviously, uh, Afro Nation happens and you, your girl was there, you know. And right now, I'm just looking at rain and gray skies. So can you please take me back to Portugal? <laughs> I want to be on a beach in Portimao, okay, living my best life because this is not it. I don't even like summer like that. But as long as it's not raining, that's that's what I can't deal with rain. I just... hmm. But yeah, uh, Afro Nation happened. So I, I was shopping bears. Um, and then, not, do you know what, that's a lie, I didn't shop as much as I thought I would shop. And then I've just been doing some, like, general shopping. But when I, like, clocked how much I had to put in this haul, I decided to split it into, like, my holiday shopping. So all the stuff I bought in anticipation for Portugal specifically. And then do a separate, so you guys are getting two hauls. So I've really been working on changing up my like style my my the way i dress not really changing it up as much as coming into my own you know like really living my truth because i feel like there's so many things that you've probably seen me wearing um i don't post on instagram like that that much but when i do and like i don't know just trying to follow trends and do fashion fashion like you know jack and jill next to me or whoever but i'm not jack and jill i'm kate and a lot of the stuff that I've been trying to wear in the name of trends and fashion. I look stupid. <laughs> I look stupid. So, um, if your style is very feminine, then you probably, we probably don't like. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like that was a lot of waffle. Or, what? I feel like that was a lot of waffle, a lot of disclaimers because I don't usually do hauls. It's not my typical content. So, yeah, let's just get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, hope you find something that tickles your fancy. And okay do you know what i think i know the majority of the stuff that came from asos so why don't we start with asos okay with my asos order i was trying to find the perfect shorts like thus far the shorts i like the most i've cut myself so i was i was trying to find the you know that pair and i i think i don't know like maybe something like she's a bit cute or whatever but i'm still on the search i'm still on the hunt let me show you some losers first before I show you the, the winning pair, so to speak. Double check. Yeah, so these are um, the brand Collusion on ASOS. These are the Mum Shorts in Darkstone Wash Blue. I wasn't sure what size would fit me. Um, they And obviously they have a petite range um, and I am petite. But they didn't have a size 10 in the petite. So I thought, okay, I'll get an 8. But bearing in mind that it's petite already, an 8 probably isn't going to fit me. Because your girl's like... She's forming some small junk in the trunk you know i don't know where it came from but i'm not complaining um but yeah so i can't really fit into a size eight that's petite as well like if it's a normal size eight i feel like potentially and then i got like a normal size 10 i think basically i would have rather got a petite 10 and a normal eight but both of those sizes were sold out so i had to like do the reverse but regardless i think the 10 were the pair that fit me the eight didn't even like get past these thighs the 10 so both of them look exactly like this obviously i'm going to try it on and all that but yeah the 10 look like this and the 10 that size 10 fit but i just didn't like the way that it sat on my body i don't know um i like sort of the longer line denim look so not you know booty shorts like body riders but yeah i don't know these just were i know the pair that I got from ASOS that I actually like though um, are these shorts. So it's the weekday row shorts in and the colour spring blue. And they look like this. And I just think they're so summer. They're short, but they're not short, short. Like, you know, there's no cheeks hanging out or whatever. And these were 
I don't know, like a bit of a staple for me in Portugal. Like these were just my like throw on shorts, like my go-to shorts. I really like them. They're so just cute. Okay, so I got two tops from Monkey. First was just this um, yellow crop. Oh, that's my white balance gone. This is what it looks like. So again, I got it on ASOS, but it's obviously from the brand Monkey and it's in a size small. And like I said, I was just kind of looking for like basics. What I ended up doing in Portugal a lot was I was wearing my bikini and then I'd wear my shorts and then I'd have a top for when it got a bit cold later because obviously we're on the beach at like midnight. So when it got a bit cold later, I'd have my top in my back pocket like hanging out. I tend to prefer like deeper yellows. I think that that is quite a vibe, like it's more of a highlighter yellow. But I liked it on holiday because especially because I got a bit tanned in Portugal. I got another basic just black crop from um, Monkey as well. And this was in a size small um just looks like this and again this was a nice basic crop i really like that. i like it i wish I, I should go back and check if there's other colors and stuff i don't think i noticed anything like that but genuinely just a really nice basic then i got this is one i think it was sold out in a smaller size i really wish i had this in like an eight you guys will see anyway it just is it fits but it's just a bit too loose i need it <laughs> I need it tight this was my outfit to the airport I was doing you know casual but cute or whatever um literally just a white top white crop um white crop from boohoo what was I trying to say yeah no, I think um Uche was definitely my inspo with the uh with the white top the white the white crop because I just feel like um, I've seen like this summer a few times she just does like a very cute little white crop and like shorts or what and she just it's simple but just cute because obviously her body's banging um <laughs> we will get there <laughs> but literally I just yeah that was my like little airport outfit I guess um Zara so basically I had this idea in my head that would not go away and I wanted to do like a little denim cohort so I wanted a crop denim jacket and denim shorts like just for a denim coat this is is extra small as well because um I wanted it to be as small as possible extra small like Jackie Jackie these shorts and I feel like they match more from the front than they do from the back because the back um like it's, it looks a bit light from the back but i feel like from the front like it's a pretty good match but regardless i just i like them as individual pieces too so i got these from zara as well these are so my style so comfy wide this is literally what is this oh it's a medium to be fair no it's not okay it's a medium i could even do no Sorry guys, I got makeup on it. This is clean as well. Yeah, they're literally just, as you can hear, like, uh, what is it, runner shorts, I guess? And like I said, they're a medium, so they're a bit baggy. I, I, I could do with something like this that was smaller as well. I don't know if they didn't have a small or I got a medium on purpose. I can't actually remember because I don't know why I have a medium. But yeah, no, just comfy, cute, part of my big the thing is i what i loved about afro nation so much is guys all the outfits i even had to it wasn't only online shopping i had to go in store guys new look um i remember when i used to who else used to shop in new look as a teenager all the time like literally i feel like everything i wore was from and my friends worked in new look as well so it was like discount nah those are the days man so i didn't get much from new look i got a cute little um like what is this called deep hem bralette i don't know if this is a bralette to me but this is what it looks like there's another yellow this is the kind of yellow i was talking about which i gravitate towards more i got but i didn't wear this one in portugal and i'm considering returning it i'm not like i'm not 100 percent. i also got the mint version of it and it's like obviously it's described as a bralette like i said i don't know if i described this as a bralette but yeah i don't know i just felt it was a bit cute it just yeah i was feeling it 
I was feeling it. I was feeling it a lot. That I planned to wear. Was I not just walking around skimpy in my bikini the whole time? Like, literally, I just, I don't, that body confidence came from nowhere. Like, it just came from nowhere. And I was just like, who's got time for clothes? <laughs> like, okay, I might as well move swiftly into the bikini. Um, so the first bikini that I purchased, uh, was from Primark actually. I got a swimsuit that I returned that I didn't like, so I only ended up with two pieces of swimwear, unfortunately. So, I got this bikini set from Primark. Proper, just so my style. I, like, I didn't even go into, I think I just went into Primark for some essentials, um, like socks and shit, and it just, it spoke to me, it was, it resonated. Um, and my vision was just this bikini. Oh, let me get the top. Like this bikini with my camo shorts that I got from Topshop last year. That was just the vision. That was, that's what I did. Unfortunately, this bikini did not get to launch because is this not what I was wearing when I was dragged into the pool <laughs> at my friend's pool party? <laughs> it's fine. Dragged into the pool and my night ended there. <laughs> so, um, yeah the thing is oh guys i was on my worst behavior in portugal absolute mess never again like literally no videos no pictures because it was just it was just like five days of just madness <laughs> literally um but yeah like i said unfortunately i didn't wear this anyway like well i wore it to the pool party but i didn't even manage to make it to the festival site in my mingini i went home <laughs> and woke up in the bathtub let's stop talking now <laughs> i think i bought an eight first time but the gap because of the way that these are set up the gap with the eight was too much so i had to downsize so that i could we got it fixed this was definitely the skimpiest little thing and i loved it so much um it's literally just the basic sports like i love the like I feel like every bikini I buy from now on ever is just going to be a sports brand. I don't know. There's just a way that they look that I like. It works for me. So the, the Elise merchandise is all from ASOS. Um, the yellow one I was talking about looked like this. But it was yellow. And this is a UK 6. Because that was all that was in stock. That would fit me at the time. But I couldn't wear this because... It, they were hold, they were screaming for dear life like it covered me up but only just about and I just didn't like the way that I looked so squashed and stuff so I had to stick to the other one unfortunately but yeah if you see the yellow set and you see it in your size guys get it because I just know that it will just look so banging on like everybody so unfortunately this didn't fit me it's just basic it just clasps at the back like you go like that even the bottoms guys i i had to get these in a 12 and i was so scared but i'm even glad i got them in a 12 i'm not a 12 on the bottom even though like i said you guys getting a little junk in the trunk there's just barely any material there so i'm actually really glad that i got the 12 to be honest i feel like i could probably get away with a 10 but let's just let's let's cool down cool down for jesus yeah i got this little red mesh number as a cover-up like over my bikini um but i didn't like it so it never came to portugal um but i also got this red top from pretty, pretty little thing pretty little thing um like just like an o-ring like zip that like kind of like this but bigger um basic zip down nothing special this size eight um and yeah i kind of wore this as a bit of a cover up in place of the other one that i didn't like particularly fancy and then i even went to h&m and i basically i wanted like shorts to wear to the airport so these are the shorts i ended up wearing to the airport and these are from the men's section it's their mid-length shorts regular fit and it's an extra small because i was thinking if i'm buying guys shorts i need them to be small guys this extra small is even small i should have even got small but even pushing medium not that I was bare specific about what I was going to wear to the airport, but I just wanted to be comfortable, like I wanted something comfortable. And yeah, like I said, this is very much my aesthetic right now. Pause before you roast me, okay? Relax, relax. I got these high-waisted <laughs> flare jeans from H&M. Guys, just take it in. Why are the jeans longer than, oh my God. 
I said pause before you roast me. Okay. The reason why I had bought this is because I was trying to find white denim shorts and I couldn't find any that I liked. I found these jeans and I liked the je like the you know of the jeans. So I was just gonna cut and make my own, but I just haven't had the time to cut and make my own because the outfit I wanted to wear this with didn't come in time. So there was no point. But I'm gonna cut these down to shorts. That's why. So I wanted white denim shorts. Okay, guys. Okay, you can stop roasting me now. It's okay. <laughs> Next. Um. Yeah. So basically, the outfit that didn't come in time, but I've worn it now, and I actually got makeup on it, and I washed it, and the makeup hasn't come out, and it's also not been ironed. So please don't judge me. Don't judge me. Now, I want you is this mint denim dress from H&M. This is a size, it's an oversized like denim shirt dress type thing. This is a size six, guys. This thing is huge. It is huge. It is so big. It is so big. Um, basically, I wanted to wear this. It, this was definitely thicker than I thought. So, I'm, it's fine that it didn't come in time because it wouldn't have worked in Portugal anyway. Like I said, I wasn't wearing any clothes. <laughs> But apart from that, this is like thicker than I thought it would be and just bigger in general. So what I wanted was to wear this with the white denim shorts and like, um, I got this basic like bandeau top, so it's white as well, but I'm half considering sending it back because the outfit that I pictured in my head wasn't going to bang and I don't know when I'm wearing this. Um, but yeah, that was the, that was the idea behind me getting those flare trousers. Um, <laughs> And yeah, no, I really like this though, but it's just one of those colours, it's like, now that I've worn it, and like, I've worn it, where do I wear it to again? Because <laughs> that's just bare... Anyway, who am I? I'm, not, I'm nobody, I wear it again. <laughs> who, are, who am I fronting for? I'm definitely going to wear it again, because I just like the shirt in it. But it may be in a few weeks when you guys have forgotten it, those of you that follow me on Instagram anyway. God, the weather is so disgusting, <laughs> can you just see the lighting getting worse? I think that's all the clothes, so what I'm... Um, I ended up buying two new pair, two new pairs of shoes, two new pairs of shoes, um, to take with me because I'm not a sandal person. I don't like sandals. Um, you know, I take after my father, meaning I have my father's feet <laughs> and I just have wide feet that I feel like sandals, I have wide feet. So I just feel like sandals and such don't really flatter my feet. I prefer to have them away kind of thing um but I kind of saw a pair that I liked so I was like okay I'm going to purchase these and these are going to be my sandals forever again because just forgive me okay because I didn't like clean these off so they're still a bit sandy <laughs> oh these are dusty um and these are the Dr. Martin's Voss I think they're called the Voss, just the plain le black leather. Um, you know, they got the spiky. Like, they looked a lot nicer when they first arrived. Okay, please forgive me because they look horrendous right now. But this is what they look like. These are the Reebok Club 85C Vintage. I think I got that right actually. Club 85C Vintage Trainers. These are size 6 as well. Let me get back. See this is what they look like they're like because it's the vintage version they're like an off-white color that's the color they're supposed to be before you think they're just that dirty i got these because i am easily influenced and cardi b wore them so i have to wear them too no i'm kidding um you guys should you probably don't know because like i said i don't do whose fashion content is not my thing um i'm a bit of a reebok stan i had my eye on the what are they called workout but then when i saw this the eight club 85s i was just like okay no that's that's a bit of me that's a bit of me i even want the black ones too but i need to slow down slow my road down um yeah so and the thing is i've never purchased white shoes in my life i don't like white shoes i don't like the stress of it i don't like the idea that someone's gonna come and just ruin my destiny one day and just step on them yeah clothes shoes i didn't even need to take that whole 20 kg that i took to affirmation was just useless useless because i didn't wear clothes didn't use that um 
Anyway, accessories now, guys. Um, literally, um, bum, see bum bags, belt bags, all of that. Basically, anything that isn't a handbag. I don't think I'm ever going to carry a handbag in my life ever again. I just. I've always felt ridic ridiculous doing it. That's why I was always a backpack girl at school. But I thought, you know, I have to grow up. I have to get a handbag. And I just look stupid. Okay? I just look stupid. I'm never doing it again. What's this material? Like, what's the word for it? Just, you know, like, rainproof. This kind of material. Just a generic one bag. You know. I got the cutest belt bag from... Oh, I think it's Pretty Little Thing. Guys, is this not just so cute? And then it's just like, that's the, you can put it through the literal like belt loops of your jeans, skirt, dress, whatever. Or you can obviously just wear it like you would like, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> but oh guys, this is so cute. I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay, good. We made it to the end guys. Um, Sorry for all the light changes, angle changes, background noise, the grey weather. It's just, ooh, you know, it doesn't want me to be great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it's not my usual content. Um, and yeah, this whole split in two. So there's another one to come. And that's probably going to be me done for 2019. No, nah, I'm kidding. Like I said, I'm kind of like trying to phase out most of my wardrobe so i feel like i probably will do a lot of shopping as we come to the end of the year to just kind of reset and like get my back to basics so keep an eye on my depot um a lot of stuff that i probably i'm not wearing anymore um you know i'll give a lot to charity or whatever but you know i'll probably be selling stuff on my depot too so keep an eye out on there and yeah um i'll probably have a lot more skincare hauls than i will like fashion hauls so keep an eye out for those as well um you guys will see me in my next video bye guys bye bye bye